Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info. Today we are putting two titans of the Mouse World head to head: the Renine Champion Logitech the Mix Master 3S and the brand new Challenger MX Master 4. Is this a huge step forward or just a small evolution? Let's break it out down. Let's take a closer look of these devices. So let's go. So at the first look, they looks almost identical. Uh, same iconic ergonomic shape, same comfortable feel, but look a bit closer and you'll see the difference in materials. So this is maybe the biggest difference between these devices. Mm, there, are di uh, there are other differences, but this is the biggest one and the better for me, for example. MX Master 3S uses a soft touch rubber coating, smooth, grippy and really fine, but it can wear out or discolor over time and, and maybe it's not too good in feeling. You know, it it's cool, but it's not too premium when we take a look on this one. Master 4 uh, swaps that for textured hard plastic and really, really durable and cool silicon uh, side grips. Here we have silicon, silicon grips. This silicon is really hard, but it's really premium uh, in, in, in touch. I really like it. Logitech clearly listened to user feedback here just because uh, after several years of using uh, this rubber uh, starting to be, you know, sleek. So it's really, really cool update uh, in materials here. What about buttons and clicks? So 3S made waves for its super quiet clicks and the 4 takes it even further. So clicks are softer, smoother and just just as satisfying. So you also get an extra button this time uh, and we have eight in total, uh, giving you more ways to customize shortcuts and workflows. Uh, maybe it's a small change with this button, but for power users, it's a nice bonus. And new feature, haptic feedback, and I completely love this feature. This is where things really interesting, just because MX Master 3 uh, had none. Uh, you have button here, but it's physical. It's not good in touch, and maybe no, maybe, okay, maybe some people use it, but it's a bit difficult to click, and, and I don't know, and it's not too good in clicking, but here we have new haptic button and it feels really but we should enable it to activate the button yeah uh, it works only when activated just because it's haptic right so it feels really cool it feels really perfect uh, it's not just a haptic you see this element uh, is moving right it's haptic plus uh, moving so it's really premium and it's really cool in, in touch and feel okay and both uh, devices share the same max speed uh, electromagnetic scroll wheel uh, battery smooth uh, ultra precise and really fast but uh, here on the Logi uh, 4 it's better it's just better it's a bit tighter and and I don't know, uh, I can just show you. As you can see, my finger moves in this way on the 3S. Maybe it's just softer on 3S. And as you can see, electromagnetic wheel is a bit different here. A bit different, but better. Okay. Uh, what about performance? So both share the same max speed electromagnetic um, uh, wheel and um, both shares 8000 dpi dark field sensor so dark field sensor is the sensor uh, is just flawless even on glass even on on every surface so uh, yeah there are really best in class what about connectivity so uh, here a mix maybe not better but a bit more modern maybe 
uh, just because as you can see uh, here is the light speed from Mix Master 4 it uses just uh, USB-C logic bolt receiver but 3S uh, has just USB-A receiver and Bluetooth support uh, still here on both uh, we have Bluetooth 5.1 on both devices not the 5.3 as in leaks of this mount for example but I don't know do we really need uh, 5.3 in the mouse okay uh, and uh, of course I wanna uh, tell you something about this horizontal uh, wheel because I really love it I really love it on the Mix Master 3S side scroll uh, wheel uh, sometimes felt a bit rough or catchy and as you can see your thumb uh, always accidentally bump into the side buttons while scrolling and these mouse corners right um, and because of its rubber it feels maybe not too good but now it feels smoother tighter and more precise it has just the right amount of resistance so you don't trigger it by accident uh, but it still feels effortless to use so it's really perfect so uh, cool overall it's not a total redesign but it's smart refinement horizontal scroll finally feels right materials are tougher and buttons are more functional uh, the new haptic feedbacks uh, adds a really, you know, new layer of responsiveness maybe. So I really like it. I really like it because of new materials, because of a new click, because of new uh, haptic on the side button and because of a new uh, button. So that's it guys. Hope this video helped you to decide uh, because in my opinion uh, you don't need to so you don't have to switch from a mix master 3s to 4 because 3s is really cool still great uh, but for example uh, if you still use uh, using uh, a mix master 2s or anything older then absolutely yes it's time to upgrade and you will notice a big difference in speed, comfort, connectivity and software features even. So that's it. Hope I helped. Please consider to leave me a like, comment below this video, uh, which mice do you have and bye. See you in the next one.